What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I'm going to speak to you about a concept in English slash Esperanto that confuses the shit out of people. And it did for me as well when I was learning the language, and that concept is Tio versus Tio, okay? Now Tio means that thing unspecified, and Tio means that thing specified. Now since in English we only have that, it can be quite confusing, but let's work with some examples. So imagine for a second, you're in this lovely green field, the sun shining down on your face, oh it's so warm. Um, the hills in the distance, but wait, there is a black smudge of a thing moving up the side of that hill. What is it? Is it a dog? No. Is it a, a cat? No, it's not a cat either. Is it a, um, a basilisk? Why the f would it be a basilisk? But anyway, let's assume it's not a basilisk either, okay? So it's not a cat, it's not a basilisk, it's not a dog. It's unspecified. That is when you would re reference it as teal, because you don't know what it is, it is that thing. So if you wanted to say, I see that thing, I see is mi vidas, you'd say mi vidas teal, because it's unspecified. But now, let's assume that you can make out its shape, and it is actually, in fact, a dirty little basilisk crawling up the side of that freaking hill. So in that case, you'd want to say, I see that basilisk. You'd say, mi vidas tiwin basiliskon. You use tiw because it's now specified, okay? So the best way to think about it is, in English, if you ever say that dog, that cat, that basilisk, you know you're adding that extra bit of information about what that is, that's where you would use teal. And that's basically how it works. So teal is unspecified, that thing, while teal is that specified thing. So for instance, if I see that cat, what is it? It's a cat, it's specified, therefore you use teal. What is that dog? It's specified, it's a dog, therefore you use teal. What is that thing? Bam, bam, it's not specified anymore. You use Tio. But there is a few points where teal will start to mess with you a little bit. The first one would be when referencing a person, okay? So for instance, it is quite common to see the English sentence, who is that? And it's just, Q estas teal, okay? Generally, if you see teal by itself, it's lonesome in a sentence, it's generally referencing a person, generally, okay? I'll get, a, I'll get into depth about what else it can reference, but generally a person. So if there's nothing after the teal, assume that it just, it's followed by a invisible homo, which means person. So Q S S T U homo, who is that person, is basically the same as Q S S T U, who is that, okay? But, it could also reference something that is understood by context within the sentence. Now, what would be understood by context? Ah, let's go back to our example with the basilisk, shall we? Let's assume, again, that you're standing there in that lovely field of greenness and, and suddenly there's a thousand freaking basilisks surrounding you from all directions. You whip out your fucking gladiator sword and you're like, come at me! And you want to reference one of those basilisks sitting there. And you point at him and, and, point at him and you're like, I will take you, basilisk! And you say, I see that, okay, basilisk. Well, you don't need to specify that it's a basilisk because they're all freaking around you. And you know by context that you're talking about a basilisk. You're not talking about the horse that's riding by. You're talking about the basilisk because there's nothing else but basilisk surrounding you and they want your blood. So therefore, you don't need to say basilisco. You can just say, mi vidas tiwin. Okay, and obviously if you're in a life or death situation with basilisks around you from all directions, grammar's not the biggest of concerns right now. So yeah, you just say teal, okay? That's the point where it would be understood by context. Another point might be where it's referencing something previously mentioned in the sentence, but that's getting a little bit more advanced. So just think about it. One, if you see teal by itself, is it referencing a person? If it's not referencing a person, then is it referencing something that's understood within the sentence and doesn't need to be mentioned? If it's not that, then is it referencing something previously mentioned in the sentence? If it's not that, is the guy actually a good speaker of Esperanto because he might have just made an error? That's also a possibility. So let's just run through a few examples. How would you say, I see that basilisk? You would say, mi vidas tiun basiliskon. Okay, and how would you say, I see that dog? The word for dog is hundo. Mi vidas tun hundon. And how would you say, I see that cat? Mi vidas tun katon. By the way, the word for cat is kato. <laughs> In case I kind of didn't get that one out there, but you should know that by now. Okay, and how would you say, I see that person? Mi vidas tun. Ah, good work. You're, you're freaking progressing like a champ. Good work, my friend. Excellent work. And how would you say, I see that thing? Mi vidas tion. 
Awesome, that's it. It's not really that hard once you understand how it just fits together. So yeah, if you've liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, grandma will be the least of your concerns when my basilisks find you. <laughs>